Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create, arrange and sort out device previews on Tableau in the browser um, in the latest release of Tableau 2021.1. Right. In order to do this, we need a visualization. So I'm going to get I'm going to get to my um, Tableau Online instance here, and I'm going to select this first visualization, which is just Superstore. There's nothing sort of special about this. I'm going to go to the second visualization, the product page here. Now you can do this for any workbook. It doesn't really matter what you use this for. But on 2021, um, one of the things Tableau is continuing to do is to push forward with the browser capabilities, and so the device preview um, is a pretty you know it's not heavily used on desktop in in businesses. It's something that's normally an afterthought typically, but in some organizations, it's actually done alongside um, their sort of core development for desktop enabled visualization. So in order to show you this, first, you need to be able to edit the visualizations. If you can't see this edit button, then you don't have the appropriate permissions to edit a visualizations. But if you do, you'll have this um, option here. And if you hit edit, you go into what looks like the dashboarding experience inside of Tableau desktop. So this feature is already available in desktop. It's not new for desktop. It's just new for the browser capability, okay? And over here on the left-hand side, you can see that Tableau's already created a phone layout for me. If you're wondering where I am, I'm just over here on the left-hand side where it says phone. And this phone layout is actually automatically generated. If I just um, click on that, you'll see this little padlock here. And that padlock, when I lock it, um, will just show you that this is actually an auto-generated layout. If you click on that, you see you have the ability to edit. If I uh, click on that to unedit it. When the tooltip comes back, you'll see if I hover over it again, it basically asks you to click to auto generate the layouts. The lock means it's auto generated and an unlock padlock means you've got the ability to move things around and adapt it to suit your needs. Now, this phone layout isn't ideal. It's not necessarily the best one. This table doesn't really work, but let me show you how to add more things to this view. If I just right click this uh, you know, tab here that says device preview, I get the ability to add additional layouts that I don't already have in the visualization. So if I go ahead and remove my phone layout, just by right clicking on that little dot and uh, selecting delete layout, you'll see the phone layout disappears. And now when I right click on device preview, I see all three device types. So let's go ahead and add a tablet layout. You'll see when I do that, it just adds like a hierarchy. So the default view is essentially what you know everyone sees. Then the subsequent views below are essentially sort of customized views for those devices. I can um, I can keep I can keep sort of adding things. Uh, let me add a desktop layout and let's add a phone layout. So now we have all three. Um, to delete any of these again, you just click on these three dots next to the item and it will give you the delete option to remove it. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't add things the other traditional way. So if I click on device preview here, you'll see that I get the device preview tab that pops up. If you didn't see that, I'm talking about this area just here on the screen here. So you can see that it's popped up and I have a range of devices. And so what I can do is I can just go here to device type, choose the device that isn't already in my device preview, in this case, tablet, and then change this to the device that I'd actually like to use, whether it's a, a nice small iPad, a big iPad, or a Samsung tablet. Let's go with the Samsung tablet this time around. I know this is really tall and wide. So you can see that it sort of knows those layouts, it changes them. And then when you're done, you can just click on this add tablet layout and it will automatically add it. So if you didn't see that happen, all I did was I clicked on the button that was, was here to say add tablet. Um, Add tablet layout and then hit this, uh, it hits this sort of area here on the left as it normally does. So, um, really straightforward, really basic. Um, everything else is pretty much as you'd expect. Of course, it has all the same dashboarding layout capabilities as you have on desktop, but that is a nice uh, quality of life experience for anyone who spends most of their time developing in the browser and needs to go in and edit a mobile layout, maybe just tweak a few things here or there. Um, editing in the browser still got a lot of catching up to do, but I I firmly believe by the end of this year, we'll have something that is comparable, if not better than the actual product. So let's hope Tableau meets that expectations. And um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share the video with everyone um, who you think might find it useful. And I'll catch you in the next video.